I got my water, baby, it's so good and it's so cold And I'm not tuned in to the Sounds World Show Make sure that you subscribe, like, share, and you can comment too I wanna give a shout out to all the Sammy Boo Sam's World, 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 Y'all look, I know you see it. I know you see it, but guess what? We're not alone. Who could it be? Who could it be? I got my baby. I got my water, baby. I got my baby. Hey, I got my water, baby. I got my baby. She is so good and cold. Y'all listen. Oh, she good and cold. Hold up. Whoa, look. Let me get a little bit more. Oh, good and cold. But listen, y'all, y'all see what we eat today, some street tacos, we got some pulled pork, and we got some chicken tacos, just a little cilantro and onions and things going on. We about to throw down, but guess what now? If you're new to my channel, you ain't never been before, please hit that subscribe button and the bell, yeah, the bell, so you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video, and then what? <laughs> Boom! Straight to your phone, baby, straight to your Hello, and if you already been here before, go ahead on. You, you, you done warmed up to me now. Come on, hit that button. Anyway, <laughs> like I said, I got some street tacos. We're going to try to let's talk about it. Okay, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead on. Say my grace so we can what? Get to eat. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for this food I'm about to receive for the nourishment of my body. And Lord, please bless the less fortunate. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Y'all, I'm so hot, I don't know what to do. I'm so hot. I'm just hot. But I'm ready to eat. I hope everyone out there is doing wonderful. I am doing great. This is a pork loin right here, guys. I know you see it. <laughs> yes, honey, this is pulled pork that I cooked myself. Okay, I cooked it myself. Yeah, there's some rodeo uh <laughs> pork. Yes, honey. I saved me some. I said I gotta do me a uh, video on it. Hey, come through. Woo! I'm so ready to eat. Mm mm mm. I gotta add me a little pico, a little cheese to mine though. You yeah, know, y'all ready to take a bite? I'm ready. Y'all ready? Take that bite. Mmm. <laughs> That's good, Sambo's. Come through. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Just what the doctor ordered, baby. Mm. Mm-hmm. That was bomb. That was bomb. Let me try me a chicken one right quick. I ain't put me no lime juice. That's a chicken one right beside the egg. Come through. Put that lime all the way across. Y'all know lime don't drip, hun. How it's supposed to drip. This one chicken right here. Put me a little bit of cream on here. Oh, come through cream. Mm. Put a little bit of pico on there. Future is a cheese. My arms be feeling so crazy. Because I'm right in front of the camera. Mm. 
Ooh. Come through, line. That line be setting it off, boy, with that cilantro. Mm. Mm. That's good. Have you guys ever eaten real authentic Mexican food before? I have only once. We have a um, food truck here where I live. And they have actual authentic Mexican food. I think some of the Mexican restaurants we'll be eating in, they, they Americanize it a little bit. But I mean the real uh, Mexican food on them food trucks. Oh, it'd be real, real. It'd be a whole nother flavor. Mmm. Y'all, everybody in my family doing good. I done got caught up in eating. Everybody doing good. I know everybody doing good with y'all. I might have been said it already. Just that caught up. Don't even remember Sam Booze. I don't know. Shoot. Try to sit my head and not my heart. Okay. Let me give me another one of these poke. Mmm. Yeah, it's come through. Them onions setting it up too. I got to look, y'all, because I've been I put too much last time. Ooh. It's good though. Put me a little bit of pico man. Few cheese. So y'all know, like I said, I made these. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Woo! That is giving me life. I gotta make a little quick trip tomorrow. So y'all see my videos been kinda late. I don't know what I'm doing, man. Kinda late in the evening. I gotta make a little trip out of town in the morning. So I probably won't get to record that video till late again tomorrow, honey. Lord bless that I gotta get on schedule. But you're coming out, honey. All in all, they ain't stop having the same booze. They coming. They coming all times of hours. But they coming. And speaking of that, I ain't even mention them up, baby. Y'all yeah, really want to know I had to hurry up. I had to hurry up. <laughs> but it doesn't hurry, y'all. I'm actually at home by myself and I don't know the window of time that I have. So I had to hurry up. That's what I did. My mind ain't all the way there. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to like, oh, Listen, if the door open, oh my god, so that's what's up. But um, I gotta go somewhere in the morning, so this video coming out today is gonna be Taco Tuesday on a Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, this video come out today. I'll do another one tomorrow, might be late, but listen. But listen, I'm sorry I'm so late saying this, but this is a mukbang bulls. This is the mukbang bulls we're doing 14 days straight of uploads y'all so this is day 10 honey golly we did it y'all day 10 we only got four more days left and like i said i don't feel stressed it's just little things that came up that that made me put mine out later in the night and all that kind of stuff but the month bamboos are big mac you love shiny lips and me sounds well okay so Please go check them out and see what they're up to. We're eating some good old food, honey. You love Shiny? Wait a minute. Mm. You love Shiny has been cooking her butt off over there. Do y'all hear me? 
She been cooking. She don't beat me up because I said this. But she been cooking. And that food is looking busting. Do y'all hear me? It look really, really good. Big Mac, he been cooking. Big Mac cooks sometimes too all the time. You know, sometimes. Well, most of the time, actually. He cooks most of the time. Sometimes he eat out. But I'm telling y'all, lips, y'all already know lips food look busting over there. Honey, they done had all kind of food over there for us to look at. So please go check them out, y'all. We are sure enough appreciated. We've been working hard for these 14 days. Do you hear me? Well, 10. It's just 10 right at the moment. At this present day, 10. Just 10. So, hold on. Mm. Well, look. Wall up, baby. Hold up. <laughs> Woo, these good. We got four days left, y'all. We're going to finish this thing. We're going to try to finish this thing strong. You hear me? We're going to have to finish this thing strong. And we appreciate y'all for sticking in here with us because we can tell y'all have been following us. Y'all have been visiting each of us and we appreciate that. Mm. We do. Oh, let's finish this, y'all. Oh my gosh. Mmm. No food bomb, y'all. You gotta try it. I told y'all that these are carb counter street tacos. The keto pan. They cancel out zero net carbs, okay? Zero grams of net carbs, baby. What you say? Zero grams of net carbs. People kept asking me that. Well, y'all, I got to let's talk about it. We gotta let's talk about it before I get too full. Y'all ready? Let's talk about it. Talk about it. <laughs> Hold your tight. Hold tight. Here you go. Hold on. Okay, y'all ready? Here you go. I'm a 52 year old widow. I lost my wife four years ago and I recently started dating again. I live in a great neighborhood and my neighbors have very supportive. My neighbors have been very supportive while I'm adjusting to being single. I'm really cool with one of their college buddies that lives around the corner from me. He has grown kids and he and his wife own a gas station. They are sent to work so they've been, they aren't home a lot. He had mentioned that their daughter is staying with them during the pandemic and I happened to run into her one day while I was out jogging. I hadn't seen her in years so I had no idea who she was. We greeted each other and that was it. The next day I went jogging again hoping to run into her. Well, I did and when I saw her, she said she was glad to see me again too. I told her I was a widower and she told me that she was back in town for a month or two. She's 30 and gorgeous and likes to jog and bike a short so all her access are always out. I've never had such an awesome and instant physical attraction to a woman. It blew my mind. I'm really starting to develop feelings for her and we spent almost every afternoon together. Now I'm wondering if it's time to come clean and stop hiding our relationship with her parents. It's a tricky situation but, but I didn't know this girl when she was growing up and I'm not really close to her parents. We would love to have their blessings before we're intimate. She's grown but still terrified of what her parents will do and say. How should I approach this subject? Sammy Boots, please, what? Please advise. My God, we gotta take a what? A big bite on that. Let me put a little bit of this on. That's all I need. We're gonna take a big bite on that. <laughs> mm hmm. Woo. Mm. 
Now, Sammy Boo. What? Man, listen. So, first of all, he said that this was an old college butt of his. He said he lived around the corner from them. Right? Ain't that what he said? Old college butt of 52. But, at, yeah, at the beginning of the thing, he told me this is college buddy and he, and he knew that they had a 30-year-old daughter. And he met her. And it seemed to me at first like he was trying to act like he didn't know that was his dad daughter at first. Like he just met some just random lady at first. So it's how that young. I thought that's what I heard. But my thoughts would be some move. Would he want his college brother to be doing his daughter? Uh-uh. He ain't gonna want his college brother. He ain't gonna want his college brother to be doing his daughter. He gotta think about it. But I think he probably thinking where that real strong attraction or whatever. Don't get me wrong. People 30 and 52 have gotten together and had an awesome relationship, awesome marriage, awesome family. I'm not denying the age. I ain't even talking about the age because you never know who people fall in love with. But what I'm saying is, is that's your friend. He trying to act like that ain't his friend no more. Really, sir. Really, sir. Now, I think he's a little rusty. He's just a little red in salmon boots. That's what I think. So he's trying to block out some of the situation to make the other part look good. Because he probably feeling with his heart or whatever with his body. I don't know. And he's trying to make excuses so he can still be able to see her. But... And the good thing about it is they have not been intimate yet, so he is respecting her, you know what I'm saying, and not sleeping with her yet. But, um, you know, you can't tell nobody what to do now. That's what they really want to do. And at the end of the day, it don't matter what the mama or the daddy going to say. Because you, once you get grown, you do what you want to do. Now, you know, it's up to them how they take it. It's up to him, brother, he back off of it. You know what I'm saying? It's always different sides to it. Um, but I just don't think that the friend would be cool. That he would be cool that was his dad on door. I don't. Sometimes people think with the wrong body parts, honey. It'll be ready, honey. Ready, ready. <laughs> they do. I had 10 of these tacos. I ain't ate no guacamole, child. Never mind on that. <laughs> oh, I got one, two, three, four, five now. Oh, I ate five of them. Oh, that's good. But put down in the comments what y'all think Sam and Boo's about. Um, what should he do? What should they do? I think that he should let it go. I think he better let it go. Huh? Looks like another love word. Yeah, I want to look like Sammy Boos. TKO. Yeah. Look like another little TKO. Look, hey. I don't think that he should be with her. Not being a damn friend. And now, if she was a 30 a year old woman jogging in the streets, and honey, he a 52 year old man jogging in the street. And they just so happen to meet and they just so happen to have chemistry. Oh, do what you want to do. And some people going to say, still do what you want to do. Hey, I'm just giving different opinions. I, ain't, I don't even know my own opinion. <laughs> I'm just giving different ones, you know. But I do all in all, I wouldn't want my friend with my child. I know I wouldn't. I just wouldn't want my friend with my child. Um, like I said, it's, it's been plenty of relationships that are 20 years apart. 30 years apart. There ain't nobody business with that. As long as they happy, they happy. They ain't got nothing to do with nobody else. But when it comes to you uh, getting involved with somebody that you're friends with, their children and all that kind of stuff, mm -mm. don't try to fix it up now. And like, you you know, we ain't that cool now. Brother, you just said that I was cool. Just lies. Just get there. But, mm -mm. nah, don't do that to people. But listen, y'all. Y'all put down in the comments what y'all think about this. Let's talk about it. Put down in the comments. Y'all listen. Don't forget to go check out Big Mac, You Love Shiny, and Lips um, videos. Uh, we got so many. I promise you. But, uh... <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, please go check them out. We love y'all. We thank y'all so much for being here with us. I know this video probably going to be short, short, but it's all right. I got things to do today. I love y'all. Peace. No, that ain't what I post that said, but what am I? I'm telling y'all. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And until next time, bye-bye. Mwah! -bye. What the world was that? <laughs> Y'all, don't try to turn my head on my heart. Don't try to do nothing. Just say, you know what? Sam really been working hard, and she's a little bit tired today. She's a little weary. <laughs> she's a little weary. She got a lot going on right there now. But you know what? She's still putting out videos. That one was a little whack. But she put them out. Just per just come along with and just make up stuff for me, okay? <laughs> Do that for me, okay? Because glory. I got to go edit and get this thing out of here for 9.30 tonight. Like I got the ovens out at 9 something. Jesus. <laughs> I've really been enjoying doing them, though. I clear out here. Let me get this stuff up. My 50 napkins. I throw on this side, I throw on my next side. I have to get 50 napkins up after every video. <laughs> and do. And do. I'm going to save these lemons though. I'm put this on that plate. That's what I'm going to do. Woo! I'll be ready tomorrow, y'all. I'll be ready the next day. Because I can't do another video tonight. <laughs> y'all just ran. But if y'all don't have a video, I hope y'all enjoy it. I love y'all Sammy Bulls. My baby, I got my water, baby. I got my baby, I got my water, baby. I got my baby, I got my water, baby. I got my baby, I got my water, baby. It's so good and so cold. So cold. 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 So good and it's so cold. I want to welcome y'all to the Sam World Show. Make sure that you subscribe, like, share, you can comment too. I want to give a shout out to all the Sammy Boo. Subscribe, like, share, and you can comment too. I want to give a shout out to all the Sammy hey, Boo. And I, my baby, I got my water, baby. I got my baby. I got my water, baby. I got my baby.